Tony Husbands of the Debt Free Divas joins us now with her top tips on back to school shopping. Always wonderful to have you here. Thanks for having me. Let's take a look at the numbers. How much are people spending on back to school shopping? The National Retail Foundation has found that families are spending close to $700 per household on back to school shopping needs. That's a lot of money. I was yes. talking to a friend of mine and she says she's actually gotten to the point where she stores some of her child's items that were not used in previous years. She says like glue gets used a lot, but other supplies, not so much. That is a wonderful tip because the first thing you want to do when you're going out and shopping is kind of take stock of what you already have at home. You don't want to spend extra money that you don't have and duplicate items that you already have at home. So it's important to take stock of what you already have and reuse. That's the number one tip. And then families can also take advantage of Different promotions like big box retailers like Target are offering gift cards if you spend a, a $50 minimum or things like that because your basic school supplies are kind of going to be the same across stores. But don't forget to check out the dollar stores first. That's always a great way to save money, especially on those basic school supplies. You know I love the dollar store. <laughs> Uh, I'm so about the dollar store. Yes, we can't forget it. You're a big shopper online, yes, too. What are yes. some tips there? I love shopping online, number one, because it's it's time effective. You can, you can scan a lot of places without leaving your home, spending gas and time and energy, and you can compare prices, which is most important. Amazon has a tracking, a cost tracking uh, tool that you can use, Camel, 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 and you can use that to compare prices across a wide range of stores and find the best prices. And you can also use a, an app. I love my apps. Mm -hmm. Shop Savvy is a great great app that you can use. You can even use this when you're in the store to compare prices for other stores and even like Target or Walmart will do price matching and take advantage of those things to save money in the store. So right on the spot. Right if on the spot. you can prove it's on my phone. Exactly. It's cheaper over here. They will do price matching and save expensive. money. Less <laughs> expensive. Right. All right. So I did not know this, but you say that some stores or maybe even online will hold flash sales in September. Yes, they're trying to get rid of all the back to school merchandise. So if you can just hold off, especially on clothing, you don't have to buy the full fall wardrobe right away. You can take advantage just in September on those flash sales. Save more money that way. And if worse comes to worse, you say just wait for Black Friday. Black Friday. That's Electronics a are a huge part today of today's uh, uh, back to school needs. So if you're having to buy tablets or headphones or anything like that, wait until Black Friday because you can even start to get some of those Black Friday sale prices starting in October. Any tips for college students? College students need to definitely take advantage of Ebates. I love my online shopping uh, cashback services. So Ebates, especially if you're buying those high dollar, high ticket uh, price items, use Ebates. Run your run your sales, run your your purchases through your your favorite online um, cashback retailer like Ebates, and you can save money that way as well. Well, thank you for coming on the show, Tony. Thanks for having me.